Hello everyone, my name is Nathan Stevenson, CEO and founder of Forward Lane. I'm here today to tell you a little bit more about P3, our brand new AI powered product for small and mid-sized RIAs and broker dealers. So first let's take a look at Forward Lane, who are we? We're based here in New York City, started about five years ago to solve one key problem. How can we provide personalized advice and service using technology at scale for financial advisors and asset managers. We all come from blue chip backgrounds in financial services, from the likes of Credit Suisse, Barclays, and myself at BNP Paribas and CQS, one of the world's top hedge fund groups. I've also had the, the pleasure of speaking at uh, a number of events for institutional investors, the CFA Institute um, at Yale and MIT on AI and wealth management. And we've also been part of key accelerator programs uh, you know, in New York and, and the Northeast. The world as we know it has changed today. It's gone from 2019 in person to now fully digital. And of course, with that, the digital leaders see huge improvements in revenues, in productivity and market share. So let's take a look at what is this real problem today? Advisors like Maria here are faced with so many challenges. Being competitive and growing, how can she do this? How does she provide personalized service to all of her clients, not just her top clients? How can she be more proactive and engage clients more effectively? And most importantly, how do you retain that generational wealth? Especially in the context of client expectations coming out of this COVID era, with Netflix around, with Robinhood, with a lot of these digital offerings, clients want so much more. They want an investment manager, a financial planner, a coach, a therapist, and even a concierge. Of course, greater expectations around more frequent client communication. So what does this all break down to? It breaks down to the desire for personalized client experience. And that means insights, not just reporting. It means content that's relevant and insightful. And of course, advice that's tailored to the individual. But this is really challenging for, for Maria here. Why? Because there's just so much data scattered all over the place. In fact, on average, advisors spend almost 23 days a quarter analyzing, reviewing, and monitoring data. Data is not your friend. It really means that there's limited bandwidth for personalization. It is hard to engage proactively because so much of the time is spent digging through that data, responding and reacting to what's happening in the market and to what's happening around you. And of course, digital competition is only growing and much faster too. So a lot of overwhelming tasks for Maria here to deal with. Our solution at Four Lane, we've built a smart technology platform which really helps to reduce this data analysis time from 23 days a quarter to just two. Not only that, we are focused wholly on providing a personalized experience for your clients. And what this leads to is moving quarterly engagements to weekly, far more touch points, far higher quality with great degree of personalization at each one of those levels. What does this add up to? It adds up to your clients feeling special, just like coming into a five-star hotel, being addressed by name and getting that same high quality of service day in, day out. At Ford Lane, we've built a custom solution specifically for RIAs to enable this growth through personalization. So let's talk, take a look at how we're making data your friend. The first thing we do is aggregating the data. We plug into existing enterprise systems like your custodial data, your CRM data, financial goal-based systems, as well as external news research and other types of content. We bring all of this structured and unstructured data in and link it together. We process it with our patent pending natural language processing for finance. What it's doing is it's reading CRM notes, it's reading those stories, it's lifting out financial goal-based discussions, it's lifting out entities, market-related entities, as well as personal interests. And it's linking that back to the structured data, the portfolio, the investment, the goals, so that now you have a full picture of the client. By creating this picture of the client, we can now automate 
a lot of this analysis, the checklists that advisors would go through before engaging with their clients. And so the signal engine enables us to do this very quickly. And of course, totally configure it and customize it to individual firms and what they're interested in. Finally, through this automation, we can rank and score the results from all of that data analysis and serve this up straight into your workflow inside of your CRM so that it's very easy to share this information with the client and put it to good use, saving you huge amounts of time, efforts, and of course, creating a much closer connection with the client. So altogether, Maria now has a brand new way of working. She and her team can save time, can benefit from data-driven insights, and also share best practices across the firm. So over a cup of coffee in the morning, she can kick off her day with some prioritized client insights and signals, make her way down through her priority list. Uh, when she finds the signals, also match that with relevant content that could be directly relevant for each one client, and of course, provide some next best actions to actually provide guidance as to what other people in a firm may be doing with that type of information. This brings consistency to engagement. It brings a higher quality of personalization. And it also brings everybody in the firm up together as all of these insights are shared um, together. So let's take a look at uh, what this looks like. And I should say too, that we work with large financial services firms. So this platform was already proven and used in practice at the likes of Trillion Dollar Asset Manager and Vesco. So here we are stepping into, into Salesforce. I'm gonna show you uh, three key elements. The first thing we're gonna do is start off on the customer record. Um, and we're gonna take a look at one client. In this case, this client is Young Professional Pete. Pete has a healthy net worth. He's uh, into college basketball. He's young and up and coming and is in the technology business and makes about a, a quarter of a million dollars a year. He's inherited some, some funds, so he has a, a, a decent uh, net worth. When we look at his activity, we can see that there's you know, all the your usual level of engagements. But what we have on the right hand side is the, the forwarding insights widgets. And this plugs straight into Salesforce we do work with other CRMs and continue to integrate, but Salesforce is our premier partner here. So it's really designed for uh, the Salesforce user with more CRMs to come. On the right hand side, the summary of all of that analysis that's been done for, uh, for Pete and for each client. In this case, it's looking at some market-based insights uh, around material changes in investments. Uh, of course, these signals are totally customizable and configurable to your firm. So here, we, what we're trying to do is surface up key stories that might be relevant to share with the clients. Those could be investment related, they could be goal related. And here you can see that we're actually reading CRM notes. In this case, on September the 10th, a discussion of buying a, a house. And you can see there's a purchase goal that's been highlighted here. And we might want to take some next best actions here. And if I click into this in a little bit more detail, let's take a look at those actions. Here, there's a purchase goal being discussed. Let's take a look at, at any large purchases that might not be in the budget. Uh, is there enough savings and you know, potentially some loan options? Now, the beauty of this is we can easily share this with the clients. We can create a meeting task, we can create a call note, or even send it via email. So, uh, so let's uh, send it via email. And you can see here that has now been dropped into the email with the actual next best actions, or really the items for discussion with the clients already pre-populated there. Now those next best actions really get surfaced from the peer usage. So they're ranked and scored based on uh, actual usage uh, of other people in your firm. So it's gonna really be peer approved actions and not necessarily AI recommended, but more what is happening inside the firm, what works in your firm. So I can hit send and that's, that's gone off to the clients. As you can see, it's taken us a few seconds, maybe a minute or so, to actually kind of go through all of these, uh, these signals and surface up what might be relevant. You can see here at the bottom that we also have some sentiment analysis that's running across those CRM nodes, uh, enabling us to flag up some negative scenarios or negative discussions uh, that may have taken place in the past. Very important for client retention. Uh, we want to keep those customer lifetime values up high. 